Well, get used to those storms Jess is talking about tonight. That's according to a new study at Dartmouth College, which is predicting more heavy rainfalls due to climate change. Adam Sullivan spoke with one of the researchers. When it comes to climate change and its impact on the weather, new research here at Dartmouth College predicts people living in the Northeast will see more extreme precipitation events. We simulated a historical period, so 1986 through 2005, and then a future period which would include the effect of climate change. And the results, extreme precipitation in the Northeast will increase by more than 50% by the end of the century. Extreme precipitation in this case was defined as about one and a half or more inches of rainfall in a day, or roughly a foot and a half of snowfall. There's more fuel in the atmosphere, there's more water vapor, there's more liquid that you can push down. And if it's below freezing, you get that as snow. But in the future, we also expect there to be a lot more rain than we currently have. And the more humid conditions, researchers say, are directly connected to the planet getting warmer over the long term. Yes, you have warmer years and cooler years, but if you look at the trend, so basically like the overarching um, temperature, you'll see an increase. While heavy rainfall is expected to double by the end of the century, researchers say that does not necessarily mean the same for destructive storms like Tropical Storm Irene that took lives and destroyed countless properties. Because they're so rare and we have so little data about them and it was such a specialized event, it's really tough to say whether we're going to get more Irenes or less Irenes. We're much more comfortable being able to predict whether we're going to get more of these like, you know, one and a half plus inch events. Moving forward, the researchers plan to use the data to take a closer look at flooding and which areas are most vulnerable to that extreme precipitation. Reporting from Hanover, New Hampshire, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News.